This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. Thank you. For over seven centuries, this vase has brought nothing but sickness and death to whoever who owned it. Can a vase be cursed? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Dr. Sene, and thank you for tuning in. We love pretty vases, don't we? We do have some vases brought down the ages through generations in our homes sometimes. I have a special vase that comes through generations from my great-grandma. Most of us have all kinds of vases and we do like them, don't we? Today, I'm going to talk to you about a bizarre story of a vase that brought bad luck to people who owned it. Now, this was no special looking vase. It was made of silver and was about two kilos in weight. Nothing really exceptional about it. Guys, have you heard of haunted items that people can own? Sounds frightening, yes? Let's go back in time to 15th century Italy. Well, the first mention of this vase goes back to 15th century. According to popular belief, this vase was created in a small Italian town in northern Napoli. The horror and death in its path is truly disturbing, to say the least. The Bassano, the Bassano vase, as it was called, was a vase with a simple silver design. Legend has it that it was initially presented to a bride as a wedding gift on the night before her wedding by her would-be husband. The following day, instead of being married, she was found dead in her room, clutching the vase in her cold, dead hands. The cause of death was deemed unknown. Thereafter, the vase was taken by a relative of the bride, who met with the same fate a few days later. After the death of the relative, another family member got a hold of the vase. He passed away a couple of months later as well. The vase was given to yet another relative. Once again, tragedy occurred. That owner died as well. The family by this point had felt that the vase may be cursed. So they decided to put it away. Some say they buried it as it brought death to anyone who owned it. That's how an eerie chain of tragic events started happening. Some say it had been buried by a priest. Years later, in 1988, a young man digging his backyard found it. He quickly cleaned it up and was quite excited with his luck of finding an old silver vase in his backyard. Then he saw a note in it. The note said, this vase is cursed. Do not take it. It brings death. He took no notice of the message, probably laughed it off. This young man sold the vase in an auction for 4 million Italian lira. At the time, it was said to have been about 2,500 US dollars. He was apparently so pleased with his windfall, I'm sure. It was purchased by a chemist. He died a couple of months later of a mysterious illness. The family later sold off his things. The vase was bought by a doctor who died about four or five weeks later. Again, the cause of death undetermined. The doctor was only 37 years old at the time. His unsuspecting family then sold the vase to an archaeologist. A few days after acquiring the vase, the archaeologist began to feel sick and the symptoms were getting worse and his breathing became labored. He suffered a lot and died a painful death a few days later. The vase continued to change hands, killing many unsuspecting owners time and time again. The vase was then sold one last time to a merchant who also died mysteriously due to a lung infection just a few days after purchasing it. A family member of this man had a bad feeling about this vase and he threw it out of the window screaming, this vase is cursed. For his bad luck, the vase hit a cop who was walking outside his house and the cop gave him a hefty fine for his reckless behavior. He paid the fine but refused to take the vase back. The policeman tried to give it to a museum, but no museum accepted it, as the vase's bad reputation had traveled far and wide. Today, it's believed that this miserable artifact is buried in some undisclosed location. Many believe it's in a cemetery. Many people hear some demonic curse has been put in the vase. Some others, on the other hand, who are looking for a scientific solution think maybe it was toxic because the vase was made of some kind of poisonous metal mixed with the silver that was poisonous to humans. 
Then there's the questions of what kind of poisonous alloy would remain so toxic for over 700 years? Anyway, the Bassano virus is now lost and let's hope it stays that way. Never, ever to be found. Thank you, guys. See you again soon. Good night.